Bone healing buttress plate. Some fractures can shorten and displace under axial load. These fractures can be best stabilized by a buttress plate. Buttress plates are mainly used in the metaphysis area to support an intraarticular fracture. But when it is used in the diaphyseal area to support a fracture there, it is called anti-glide plate. So you apply the plate to one main fragment to buttress the other fragment and to prevent the displacement. Buttress means push. So the plate acts like a finger, pushing the other fragment into reduced position. The plate holds the bone up. It is neutralizing the shear forces during axial loading. In fact, it may compress the fracture during axial load. And if the fracture is intraarticular, the plate can be used with or without lag screws, which is usually partially threaded screws. Here are several examples of buttress plate. Volar Barton fracture. Anterior plate is applied to the distal radius, holding the reduced anterior marginal distal radius fracture in its reduced position. If the fragment is large enough, you can put screws through it. If the fragment is not large, you can use the plate without screws. And that is practically rarely done. Another great example is tibial plateau fracture, the split fractures or the split depression fracture. Use buttress plate for it. Another example is vertical fracture of the medial malleolus, which is spination adduction fracture, or the posterior malleolar fracture of the ankle. An example of the anti-glide plate is used with the diaphyseal fracture of the fibula. Some people think it is biomechanically superior than the lateral plate but it can cause irritation of the perineal tendons. And because it's used in the diaphysis, it's called anti-glide plate. If it is used in the metaphysis, we call it buttress plate. The stiff plate should match the contour of the bone to provide its buttress effect. Most of the plates used nowadays are pre-contoured or anatomic. In metaphyseal shear fracture or a split fracture, fixation with screws alone may not be sufficient. Lag screws should be combined with a plate with anti-glide or buttress effect. With buttress plate, you will get primary bone healing because of the anatomic reduction, the stable fixation, and the adequate blood supply. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.